Well, greetings and salutations, test takers. This is Dean Tinney, a.k.a. Series 7 Guru, coming to you here from my studio here in fabulous Las Vegas with another explication request. Uh, this is for Series 65 and 66. Uh, best free supplement to your paid study materials on my YouTube channel. If you don't have a Kaplan QBank, I highly recommend it. Uh, you can get 15% uh, off at checkout with the Guru 15 discount code. Uh, for that uh, commercial, Kaplan allows me to give you a free look on Kaplan content. Uh, I'll help you with any question from any vendor. Just easier if it's a Kaplan question because you can send me the QID and I can bring it up backstage. Uh, use the following chart to answer this question. Oh, my goodness. You know, these kind of uh, exhibit questions when the screen fills up, you know, sometimes I'm tempted to just guess B and assign it to the universe. <laughs> you know? But sometimes... Uh, these questions aren't as difficult or as involved as they first appear. So here the question is, based on this exhibit, which portfolio mix would you recommend to a client who is most concerned about projected near-term volatility? All right, so now we know what the exhibit's about. Now, good news about exhibit questions, you know the answers here. We just got to find it. So I, I kind of like the question because what we're stand, uh, testing on here is what's called standard deviation. You know, the variance or dispersion of, you know, uh, the numbers of a data set. You know, the one I always use as an NBA fan is, you know, as a coach, I have two players on my bench. They both average 20 and 10. You know, one guy gives me 40 one night and 20 rebounds that night. Next night, nothing. The other guy gives me you know, 18 and 12 and then 20 and 10 and 22 and then 10. You know, it's neither kind of bad nor good. Maybe some nights I need, you know, 40 points. The idea, though, is that even though they have the same average, the player with, uh, you know, 40 one night and 20 rebounds one night, nothing the next night has a higher standard deviation, higher volatility. So really all we have to do in this question is look at the standard deviation to see what is the volatility. And then we just got to be careful to remember they're asking about, you know, not the most. Now, as a test taker, by the way, when you're looking at this, you could kind of say, I'm probably going to want an answer that's either side, right? I either want the the low number or the high number, either 1015 or 1125. So here, though, it says uh, most concerns. So I want the least amount of volatility. And so the answer to this question is we're going to take the one with the lowest standard deviation. So basically, all that other stuff was them just trying to do a Jedi mind trick on you. All you really need to do to answer this question is go right to that standard deviation number. And uh, the answer here is 10.15. Anyway, so if that was helpful, I would expect you to run into a standard deviation, either definition or practical application like this on both the 65 and the 66. Uh, remember, inch by inch, your 65, 66 is a cinch. Yard by yard, your Series 6566 is hard, and I will see you for the next explication request. Bye-bye.